The number of branches of an oak tree and a birch tree since 1950 are represented by the following tables. So for the oak tree, we see when time equals zero, it has 34 branches. After three years, it has 46 branches, so on and so forth. And then the birch tree, they give us similar data. At the beginning, has eight branches. In 10 years, has 33 branches, and they give us all of that. And what I want to think about in this video is, how should we model these? If we want to model these with functions, and the choices we'll give ourselves, there, there are other options, but the choices we'll give ourselves in this video are linear and linear versus exponential functions. Which of these are going to be better for modeling, for modeling these, this, this data? So let's first look at the oak tree. And the key to realization is whenever I have a fixed increase in time, so each of these steps, this is plus three years. So it's a fixed increase in time. What happens to my number of branches? Is it going to be a fixed change in which, or roughly a fixed change in which case a linear model might be good? Or is it going to be a change that's dependent on where we were? So what am I talking about? So 34 to 46, that is plus 12. 46 to 59 is plus 13. 59 to 70 is plus 11. 70 to 82 is plus 12. And so at first you might say, well, hey, this, this isn't an exactly fixed change. These numbers, they seem to average right around 12. But when you're looking at real world data, you're never going to get something that is exact. The models are just going to uh, give us a good fit, are going to uh, give us a good approximation of the behavior of the number of branches over time. For me, this is pretty close to a constant 12 branches a year. So I would construct a linear model here. I would say here, branches as a function of time. Now let me be clear, this isn't 12 branches per year. This is 12 branches every three years. 12, this is 13 branches over three years. This was 11 branches every three years. But we're going to average 12 branches over three years. So the number of branches we have, we're going to start at 34 branches. And then minus, if we have 12 branches every three years, that's four branches every, or I should say plus, four branches every year. And you could test this out. B of zero is going to give us 34 branches. B of 12, let's just really test out the extreme part of the model. B of 12 is going to be 34 plus 48, which is equal to, which is equal to 82. So this model works quite well. It's going to have a couple of places where it's not exactly, exactly fitting the data, but it fits it quite, quite well. And so this is a linear model. So this one is linear. Now let's look at the birch tree. So time equals zero, so fixed change in time. Let me open the wrong layer. All right, so we have a fixed change in time every time we are moving into the future a decade. Let's see, our change in branches, we go from 8 to 33. So what is that? That is plus 25 branches. And then we go from 33 to 128. Well, that's way more than 25 branches. That's going to be what? Five less than five less than 100. So that's going to be plus. 95 branches. So this clearly is not a linear model. And so let's think in terms of an exponential model. How much do we have to multiply to go from, did I do that right? 128 minus, yeah, if it was 133, then it would be 100, and then it's five less than that. Yep, okay. So now let's think about it in terms of an exponential model. In terms of an exp exponential model, we care, well, what do we have to multiply for each, for, for each step? So if we have a constant step in time, what do we multiply for our how much we increase our branches? So to go to 8 to 33, that'll be approximately, it's going to be approximately 4. It's going to be a little bit more than 4. 33 to 128, well, that's going to be a little bit less than 4, but it's approximately 4. 33 times 4 would be 132, so we're close. 128 to 512, that's exactly 4, right? That, that's exactly 120 times 4 is 480 plus 32. Yep, that is exactly 4. So times 4. And so it looks like we keep, we keep multiplying by 4 every 10 years that go by. So one way, one way to think about it is we could say here, b of t, the branches of t, our initial condition, our initial state is 8. And now we could say our common factor is 4 
take is four. But if we want t to be in years, well, that every 10 years, we multiply by a factor of four. So t has to go to 10 before we increase the exponent to, to one, or has to go to 20 until this exponent becomes two. So eight times four to the t over 10 power seems like a pretty good, pretty good model. And you could even verify this for yourself. If you like, try out what b of 30 is going to be. b of 30 would be eight times four to the 30 divided by 10 to the third power. And what is that going to be? That's going to be four to the third is 64. 64. Eight times 64 is it's 480 plus 32. It is 512. So once again, this exponential model, this exponential model for this data does a pretty good job.